time because sometimes you know <laughs> some, some people need their ass whoop hi you guys what's up um this is your girl sandra for, from sandra said what um if this is your first time joining me thank you for coming here and if you've been my day one since day one thank you for coming back um if you like this look i made a video about it and um a two tutorial a tutorial video for it it was it's like very brief very easy um so yeah if you like it you can watch that video let me know if you like want more videos like that um okay so today's subject that i'm talking about is i want to tackle the issue of whooping your children now I want to put the disclaimer that I do not yet have children, so I can't tell anyone how to raise children. Let's start with that. Um, I am from the Caribbean, so I've seen different styles of, you know, children rearing. Um, so yeah, it's just my personal preference and experience and from what I've seen. I'm not from a family let's say I, um, I personally have not really experienced like being whooped all the time like that I can only remember one time that I was whooped and it was like by one of my uncles and my parents weren't even in the country at the time and but as far as like my parents like whooping me and things like that it's not something that really happened to me but um the reason why i have reasons like legit reasons why i don't want to do it because um i just want to say this there's a difference between discipline and what it is i don't want to call it abuse necessarily it can get to the point where it's abusive but there is a difference between whooping your kids and disciplining them that's what i want to say and for me i don't necessarily equate um whooping your kids with actually disciplining disciplining them because as we can see time and time and again we have children who were beat all the time and they turn out no better than the kids who weren't and they still end up in mischievous activities they still end up in different areas that's not the most desired and they end up being in partake partaking in things that it's not necessarily what their parents would want from that for them so I don't think honestly I do not believe that beating your kids and it inflicting pain on them make them see life differently because yeah you can beat your kid if you're not giving them a legit reason or if you're not like there is like basically no lesson behind why this punishment is happening it's just like you did something wrong I'm beating you for it but it's not like okay this is what you did this is why it was wrong this is how we fix it next time there's really like no communication between parents who usually beat their children there's no real dialogue most of the time it's just you did this and as a way for me to show you this was wrong I'm gonna inflict pain on you and next time you won't do it again and so then they'll do something else that's wrong it's the same repetition so it becomes just a pattern of you beating your kid but there's really no discipline there's no you're not really raising your child to be like a thinking person so for me, I know I definitely don't want to do it. And one of the one thing that happened, I feel like I'm so traumatized by it. I don't want to say who it is, but I saw someone whoop their daughter so bad, and the screams like I can still hear like the screams. Can you imagine like a kid? Imagine my skin like this and just taking a belt or a cord or whatever and just hitting me. With repetitively with it and I'm just screaming screaming in pain it's just like it really broke my heart and it's like this is not something I want to do to my children I do not want to do that to my kid if you do and the reason why she was whooping her is because the girl forgot to bring her homework to school she, okay if 
Education is very important in black families. It's been proven. Caribbean families, we really do value education. We know like it's a one ticket to anything. Even if you can't make it out with any other thing else, education is going to take you where you need to go most likely. So I get that. You want them to take school seriously. I get that. Nothing wrong with that. But whooping her over and over because she forgot her homework it could have been many reasons why she forgot and if you want to reinforce the idea of her for her not to forget important things why don't you teach her about time management because lord knows Caribbean people we have a whole other time system and I'm not even gonna get into that but yeah like if you want to teach time management, there are other ways to teach time management. If you want to teach preparation, there are other ways. If you want to teach ways to take care of important things, teach them to make a list before you go to bed. Okay, do this, do that. Put your homework in your backpack. Things like that. There are so many ways. And then, just... Whooping your kids, honestly, I was like stuck for a second. A lot of people, they really do abuse. Like, to the point like where they abuse their children. It's just a way to instill fear in their kids. You do as I say. No question about it. You do what I want, when I want. You do what I say, when I say it. And that's the other thing. Like, they, we never sometimes really give kids real explanations for things. It's just because I said so and I found myself I'm not gonna like tempted because kids you know they can be annoying as hell so um, I found myself tempted like a lot of the, a lot of the times when my nieces they keep asking me stupid questions over and over and over and over and I just want to say because I said so and then I catch myself I'm like this is not the kind of intergenerational message I want to pass along that you have no question you have no right to question authority you have no right to question people who are older than you and because of that I feel like it impacts other areas in your life especially areas let's say you are at a job you are afraid to ask for a promotion because they have these mediocre people okay perfect example you know how like they have these mediocre people in super positions and you're like, how did this person get in this position? And without everything else that comes along with that, the one thing I can, one of the things that I can see is like, these mediocre people, they walk in the room like they own it. Why? Because nobody beat, beat into them to be fearful of walking in the room and owning it. They come in like the world is theirs. They're here to take what belongs to them. And they have this confidence that even when they, they don't know what they're doing, other people end up believing in them enough to pass along that situation to them. So, a lot of people, they, it's just, when you do that, imagine your kid. Now, you've told them, don't question authority. So, they can't even question their boss about, why did this person get this promotion and not me? Or not even feeling like, hey, let me ask for a promotion because I deserve it, because I've worked for it. Or, you know, it, it impacts a lot of different areas in our lives and it's like we end up paying the price and because we end up having such low self-esteem and self-esteem doesn't necessarily always have to do about the way you look about the way you feel but it's just like internally subconsciously even when you were going to do something things that you don't even realize that you could have done it just doesn't even occur to you to ask for things, to question things, to want better, or because you deserve it, which you do, because you work for it, which you do, but someone has to beat into you, do not ever question that. And I get where the history of it comes from, and I get that a lot of pe um, black parents especially, they would whoop their children in front of, you know, the people who were keeping them enslaved because of the fact that they wanted to show, look, I'm going to discipline my kid because I know the alternative would be you killing my child. If my child did something wrong, I'm going to beat them in front of you to show you, look, I'm taking care of the problem. You know what I mean? So then, 
that way because I know if I let you discipline my child, I may never see them again. I get that. I get where it comes from. I get the history. But I feel like we need, really do need to break this curse. We need to break this pattern of intergenerational trauma that we keep recycling. I don't want to treat my child like worse than I would treat like a complete stranger. Like we don't even treat criminals like that. Like criminals get taken to Burger King. And here you are taking something and beating your child like it, your kid was your worst enemy. Like, like it breaks my heart. And there's so many other reasons why I, physically when you start beating your child at a young young age, it can physically impact them. I know a lot of the time this is how we were raised. We don't know any differently, so we just keep keep the same thing going so it's hard to break a cycle that people don't realize something is wrong of and again I know again I'm from the Caribbean I don't believe every single thing um, that these studies show blah 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 because I know a lot of it is manipulated in one way or another so I don't want to just go into like study shows this study shows that but it does show like physically it can cause a lot of defects in your child and other than that um, it can kind of like reinforce the idea that being violent is okay so physically physical violence is an okay way to deal with conflict and that's fine sometimes because sometimes you know <laughs> some, some people need their ass whoop I get that you know what I mean but like to uh, that way because this is how your parent dealt with you so now this is how your father dealt with your mother and we know there is a lot of physical abuse in those type of relationships and now this is the way that your child knows how to handle conflict your child doesn't know how to communicate properly so this is how they're going to deal with their significant other you know and this is how they're going to deal with the rest of the world and they're not going to it's going to impact them and it's going to keep them back from achieving their true potentials because they don't know how to communicate very well because they don't know how to apply communication skills to real life situations they don't know how to apply themselves in a way that would help them get this job would help them get in this position would help them advance their careers it has an impact across the board so for me personally I don't want to whip my kids I don't know how what kind of parent I'm gonna be I don't know how I'm gonna discipline my kids but it's one thing that I know for sure that I do not want to practice I don't want to promote it I don't want to be a part of it I don't want it I don't want it call me Jon Snow because I don't want it okay so let me know your comments your thoughts your concern or your ideas what you thought about what I said am I just talking shit I don't know what I'm talking about excuse my language I just you know I mean I need to take a seat or I need to have several several naps you know or do you agree with what I'm saying or let me know because I really want to hear your thoughts on it because I know it's um, something that's always happened in our culture and I've seen it and it just doesn't sit right with me so share your thoughts with me I'm Sandra from Sandra said what like comment share subscribe let me know how you feel and Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. I'm saying just said what. And I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'm going to have new videos for you. And I will see you later. Bye.